I bought a locker two days ago that uh, I was not able to go help them pick up. They went and picked it up yesterday, and my understanding is they sorted through most of it. So we're going to go and see what they found. It'll be a surprise for me as well. All right, we're coming back into our stock room now. Um, this is a tote, I guess, that they got out of there because I haven't seen this stuff before. Looks like we got some decor here. A uh, little old washboard. I don't know if that's a, a reproduction or if it's actually an old one. And I'll, I'll stock some of these totes so that we see what's in them. Here's another tote that I haven't seen before. Some books, some decor. Maybe a DVD player down in there. This kind of cool piece right here. Another tractor down here. It's just plastic. What's this? Oh, that's pretty cool. A little measuring cup. Um, those. Those are new. These things sell fantastically well. This one's kind of got some condition issues but it won't matter it'll still sell really well um this is a new tote some decor in there they told me they found some jewelry but i don't know where that is here's a broom cool. well knocking all kinds of stuff over it's kind of a cool handle on there um, Maybe some sort of plant stand here. Man, it's a disaster back here. Here's a little box. Maybe this is the jewelry. Let's see. Let me put this over. Kind of in my workspace. Let's see. Uh, no, this is... Little pieces of decor. It's like little bears. Nods and ends in there. Well... Let's see, anything else? This stuff is a, a walking stick. That's bamboo. There's a shelf right here. That's new. There's some old books. That's interesting. Hmm. This tote's new. Looks like we got some Blu-rays in here. Nice little pile of Blu-rays there. Is there a brand on this? I can't read that. What's this? Oh, that's cool. A little scale. Oaks Manufacturing Company, Tipton, Indiana. That's pretty. Beauty Takes Wing, Heirloom Porcelain Music Box. Some other odds and ends down in here. Some old tobacco tins, it's not that old. Camel. There's a belt buckle. What's this? American whiskey. Just plastic. This is a metal one. Let's see. What's the name on this? Jade. So, I mean, not great, but not bad. Probably will sell that on eBay. Some other odds and ends in here. All right. This, and this may be stuff he set aside to check on eBay. I don't know why. That's not an eBay item. Some of this stuff will go on eBay, though. And this is new as well. All these DVDs here. Let's go outside now and open up the truck. All right. They said they went through most of it, so I guess we'll see here. Uh, 
There's still a decent amount of stuff in here. It's a lot more DVDs. Blue Hawaii with Elvis. It's a little box here. Let's see if there's anything in there. No. Wow. Kind of gross. Here it looks like another tote stock. Mississippi mud. Black and tan beer. You want to take your life in your own hands. This must be the, uh, the jewelry that they found. Looks like a lot of watches. You think of any quality? Mm -hmm. Not there. Not there. That might be. I don't know. I'll have to go. I'll go through this real carefully later on. I'm not seeing anything too good just off the bat here. Milan. It's a knife. What's the name on this? Let's see if I can open it up one handed. I'm not going to be able to. We'll come back to it. This is silver, I believe. It's kind of cool. There's a ring down in here. Let's see. Let's check the ring quick. The ring's just junk. All right. Well, again, I'll sort through that at a later date. And uh, I'll go up in here and see if there's any more boxes that we can sort through together. Okay, I found this little nightstand that's got stuff in the drawers that they did not go through. So, we will sort through this. CD, some mail, surgical planning manual. Some more mail. A lot of personal papers here. A lot of junk too. National Geographic. A pair of goggles. No, those, those are glasses. That's kind of interesting. Shoe polish. A pair of suspenders. Night light. Tool belt part. See what's in this bottom drawer. More paperwork. Get all that out of the way and see what's underneath there. Some other stuff in here. Let's see. I got some watches. Nothing real valuable. Here's a little knife. What kind of knife is this? Cheap Chinese knife. Some more safety glasses and sunglasses. Those are still. There's another knife. Let's see. Ozark Trail. It's in pretty good shape though. The big old watch. Nothing special about it though. Here's a another knife. Yep. Another knife. No name on that one. Here's a little, little watch. Concepts. Japan movement. Nothing there. Let's see. A lot of watches in here. They must have really really liked collecting watches, a little bookmark. Um, just some change in here. A lot of trash. Here's another little box, a three, three drawer kind of stand here that they haven't sorted through. Um, there's a watch, a little bracelet. Yeah, none of this stuff is uh, Thing of any quality, it doesn't seem like. 
anything else in this? No. Let's check this drawer. Lots of paperwork. Pull all that out. Oh. Photographs, get those out of here. All right. This little bracelet. It's just uh, just costume, but it will sell for us. Here's another bracelet. It looks like the same thing. Yeah. Nothing else in there. All right, final drawer. And nothing there. And it's broken. All right, I'll finish cleaning that up and then we'll move on. All right, I'm gonna start stocking these totes. Um, I'm not gonna film the whole stocking process because it'll be very tedious, uh, but I will show you if I find anything interesting in these totes as I stock them, and I'll let you know what I get for value out of each tote. I'm gonna start with this one, and we'll stock it and see what is in there. All right, that's everything out of that tote. The most interesting item, I think, is this little vase here. It's pretty high-end glass. I suspect it may be hand-blown. Um, unfortunately, I don't know where it came from or the, the history behind this item, but uh, kind of a cool piece. Total value in that tote was about $75. All right, here's our next tote. Let's go through this and see what we got. All right, the most interesting find, I think, out of that tote was this. Um, it's kind of difficult to read. It's a Busy Bee number 16. It is actually... Uh, an old washboard from about the 1930s. Uh, we should be able to get, it's in kind of rough shape here, obviously. It's rusted away here. Um, but, you know, 10, 15 bucks for that out of our store, uh, even in this condition. Another interesting item that was in there was uh, this scale. Uh, these, are, these are portion control scales for like a restaurant. Uh, these are going for about 15 bucks used on eBay. With those two items, that tote was worth, again, about 75 bucks. Here's our next tote. This one is not as full. It's a smaller tote, uh, but we'll see if we can hit that $75 mark again. It's been pretty good so far. This was the most interesting find out of that tote. It's a big piece of blue glass. Uh, I'm sure somebody was using it as a paperweight, but I wonder what that came out of, because I'm sure it wasn't made like this. Why would somebody have such a large piece of blue glass? It is glass. It's not like rock or anything or crystal. Strange. Uh, total value in this tote was about $50. All right, here are all the smalls that came out of that unit. There's a little pot full of change. And then over here is uh, jewelry. Watches, some knives in there, other odds and ends. So I'll sort through this stuff real quick. I'll check this change to make sure, you know, I'll just look through it real quick and see if anything other than just pocket change went in there. And uh, then I'll show it to you once I have it all sorted. All right, here is all of that stuff laid out. A lot of just cheap junk watches. Um, in a wide variety of condition, most of them pretty poor condition, some of them brand new. A little handful of pocket what or pocket knives. Um, decent, those things will sell for us. I mean, nothing very valuable, but some decent little ones. There was one 22 long rifle bullet. Uh, these are micro machines, right? These little cars. Uh, sometimes they say micro machines on the bottom, sometimes Galoob, which is the uh, company that made them. Uh, if you find those, save them. They sell really well on eBay. I usually set them aside until I have a lot uh, large enough to be worthwhile to sell. A uh, bunch of change, like you already saw. Um, some money clips, some costume jewelry down here. Nothing very valuable there. Uh, over here we have uh, a nice set of imitation pearls, a necklace and a bracelet, not bad. Here's one of the nicer watches. It was a name I didn't recognize, uh, some Italian name. Um, I set it aside, I think it's Italian, it might be French. I set it aside because on the back it says Swiss parts, but it also says made in China, so I'm not expecting much out of that. 
Um, over here we've got a couple of sterling silver pieces, a sterling silver ring here, a little sterling pendant. This little pillbox is sterling silver as well. And then here we have one little piece of gold, a little pendant with a stone in it. Uh, value here in the watches and all this other stuff may be like a hundred dollars for us and most of that's going to come for the knives and the money clips and a couple of these watches that we can sell on their own um, and then you know maybe another 30 40 bucks in silver and uh, and we'll see what we get for this little piece of gold but so maybe a couple hundred dollars total value here that's going to do it for this unit it was an all right unit for what we paid for it. Uh, There's some interesting items in there. Uh, total value, maybe six, seven hundred dollars for us. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to see more content like this.